breaking news. Sorry to interrupt your program, but now we have the news. So I know there has been some worry about what America is going is like going on today. Eisenhower has a four-part plan to uh, invade the Axis. However, while doing so, they're going to like leave Utah. While they were doing so, something horrible happened. Uh, like they faced a great assault. Like a lot of bad stuff happened. You're darn tuned they did. You're darn tuned they did. Uh, so here is a picture of a lot of dead soldiers on the beach of Utah. Yeah, go right here. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. And if you have children watching, you better cover their eyes. It's, mm -hmm, it's pretty disturbing. However, there's an update. Thir uh, like uh, 350 hundred American soldiers had managed to escape and land on the Omaha beach. Uh, we'll have a quick commercial break. Good, um, but then we're gonna cut to Ad we're gonna cut to Adley in Utah reporting on the scene. Good luck. Stay safe and be careful. Everyone, good luck. See ya. Yay, yay. I am the Frito Bandido, I like Fritos corn chips, I love them, I do. I want Fritos corn chips, I'll get them from you. This is Adelie Williams, and I am here in Utah Beach. All day, bulletins have been coming in from Berlin, and people think that D-Day is in fact here, and the invasion of Western Europe. Heavy fighting is taking place between the Germans and the invasion forces on the Normandy Peninsula. The French's best air domes have been wiped out, and I think that means that they have been wiped out by Allied forces. Here is a witness of the wiped out air domes. Henry Malin, what do you have to say? You see, what happened is that I was coming out of my apartment, and I was taking my dog on a walk, and then I just heard this huge explosion. I was terrified. I ran the other way. Is the dog okay? Yeah, I put my dog in my shirt, and I ran. Oh, nice. Then what happened? I turned back to see and I saw an explosion and a screaming guy for a minute before the scream stopped. I wasn't as dumb. I knew that he died. Then I looked up and I saw thousands if not millions of aircrafts. Uh, so I ran while people around me were getting shot. I did not want to die and I didn't know how I, how I survived. Maybe God helped me. I'm sorry you went through that, but there is another witness coming. Thank you for your time. Here's a local cop, Roger Stevenson. So yeah, I was called by an by an elderly saying, I see people getting shot here. Then I tried then I tried to calm him down. So I was like, Okay, sir, please stay calm. Could you describe the person shooting? Then he said, No, they're in planes. They're shooting down some aircraft. And I then there was a pause, and then I heard the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. And I was like, where are you now? And he said, and then after that, I heard gunshots fire, and I heard a loud scream for 15 seconds before the call goes out. Only then did I realize what happened. I ran to my car and drove to the address that I tracked, and I saw hundreds, if not thousands, of dead soldiers in the water. I, immediately, I hid behind my car waiting because I knew if I tried to shoot or defend myself, I'd die. So, I became a sitting duck until planes left. While the other soldiers managed to overpower them, so I got out, and here we are. Well, I'm sorry for what you've gone through. It's okay. Thank you. We are now going to a commercial break, and we'll cut to Anthony. Yay, yay. I am the Frito Bandido, yeah. I like Fritos corn chips, I love them, I do. I want Fritos corn chips, I'll get them from you. Shocking indeed. Now we're gonna cut off. Everyone stay safe, good luck.